All right, Bob Brown here, how you doing? This is Brandon. He had a question for me, and I said, nope, don't ask the question yet. First, let me get this camera rolling. So, all right, show's yours. Okay, uh, I was wondering what to do with finger pressure, like which fingers apply pressure and in what direction. I'm not quite sure. Okay, in a top roll or a hook? Top roll. Okay, so I think what he's asking is where should you apply pressure with your fingers when you're about to perform a top row? So, here's what I'll say about that. The bottom fingers are there to stop your top row. Let's assume we're both top rowing for a second. So these bottom fingers, so when you go to top roll, I'm gonna use the bottom of my hand to stop, okay? Then you're gonna use your top fingers to perform your top roll. So you basically are containing with the bottom. I mean, you're really, con you're doing this with all of them. But your main focus of the bottom is to contain. And then as you stop his top roll, now it's stopped. Now let's assume it is stopped. Mm -hmm. Now I will use these fingers to push down on that knuckle to come across the top. So, first thing, just hold me with them bottom fingers. Okay? Stop my top roll. Exactly. Now that you've stopped it, Push down, tie up on it. There you go. Okay. Exactly. Okay, and what about the thumb? As far as capping or not capping, or what do you mean by what about the thumb? Are we pushing this way or going up? Or what are we... Generally speaking, I want this thumb pushing down. But then, I nearly want to just feel this for a second. I won't even, you just hold me. And I'm not even going to use my, my fingers. And I'm going to come through your thumb. I can feel that. I'm coming through your thumb. It's like you're so, ripping my thumb off. Yep. Hand for containment. Give a little pressure. Hand for containment. Come through. So the fingers pressure is really about stopping the other guy's top row, right? Because if I do this again, and all I try to do is, hold on to me. If all I try to do is this, exactly, you just came right through, right? So finger pressure is really about containment of your back pressure is really what it is. Everyone thinks that when two top rollers get like this and I get up here, oh, I must have a stronger hand. That's not true. Okay. It's really not whether my hand is stronger than your hand. It's what is a, the higher differentiation? My back pressure against your fingers versus your back pressure against my fingers. Right? Okay. So as we both back pressure, you go, and I'm just containing you better. You know, we had equal back pressure, my fingers just contained you a little better. Okay. You know, so. Because I've heard people say, some people say they float this finger, and I don't know what that means. Okay, so the reason they are floating this finger is. Put this up in the air. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Go. Oh, um, close. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So it's to so, catch you. It's to catch you. It's to allow you to roll right into my hands. Okay. And that's the that's the difference between if I know you're top rolling a full hand top. Just relax, dude. Let someone show you something. Hold on. If I'm a full hand top roller, which means I'm coming straight into you, versus a back pressure top roller. If I'm a full hand top roller, open your hand and let me roll right into your hand. Ready? Go. And I've rolled right into your hand. You know? I've tried to contain, let me roll right into your hand. I rolled right into your hand. But now if I'm this top roller, do the same thing. Open your hand up. That's, that's not gonna work. So it's really the difference with the top roll. Okay. There you go. Hope you understood that.